Ah, oh, g'day, thank you. Um, got that term Leon's white paper. Challenge lock. Um, yeah, it works beautifully, but um, so here we go. And uh, yeah, get it out of my hair, so to speak. Uh, there you are. This is definitely a puzzle. This is a puzzle, not a challenge lock. Um, Like one of those movies where there's multiple endings. Um, this is one of those. So easy to drop pins too. Was a bit, <laughs> a bit too soft. Uh, what a dislike doesn't like gentle, uh, light tension at all. Getting that bloody bike get behind the fucking pins, that's the problem.
Oh, thank fuck for that. There we go. Um, it's time for five minutes. I might actually, yeah, I might, I might do. I might take this apart. I won't do it on camera because uh, you probably wear it how they come apart anyway. Uh, I think Murdoch's done a video. Um, Def, Woody Mansell has definitely done a video. I'll put you on hold. I'll get this apart. I'll have a look at the side. I'll see sorry, what's inside the uh, lock. So I'll be back in a sec. Oh, okay, just back quickly. Um, just give you a bit of a progress. Yeah, these pins come out pretty easily. So, and uh, this time I used the actual nice fine flat uh, pin punch as opposed to a circular one. Um, yeah, these are going pretty well, self-evident. That's the original mark. Someone's had this apart at some stage. And uh, that's the first of all you go in. Yeah, that's a little shackle retainer pin, which come from uh, wherever the shackle was. Maybe, <laughs> where are you? Yeah, over here somewhere. Anyway, I'll put you on hold and I'll see what's happening with these, see if I can get the get these pulls out. Um, I think you've got to drop your core a bit, I think. Actually, nice and shiny in here. Oh, it's like pretty much brand new. So Anyway, back in a sec. Okay, back again. Yeah, I've done a bit uh, deeper this, this assembly. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward thing, really. Um, uh, it's got a little... Uh, where is it? Yeah, that thing there, that's actually a, like a limiter, adjuster, um, which runs off inside there. So I'm assuming you can adjust the, um, fine-tune the uh, rotation uh, direction and where it sits when it's in the relaxed position. So anyway, um, it's the keys. Well, um, We'll get to the top in a minute. Okay, let's see. Uh, plug. She. It's got count. Oh no, threading on one, two, five, and six, I believe. It's got a bit of wallowing there, or a bit of yeah, upper counter on the chaffering. Yeah, that's why they sometimes get that deep set, deep um, deep fold set. If you've got a shadow pin, I'm not, not sure, we'll have a look anyway. If you've got a really shadow um, pin spool uh, with a ball end on it, like, a, um, I don't know, like an anchor pin. If they were anchor, um, counter milled, really deep with an anchor pin, that'll be, that'd be a totally different story. But uh, don't get me wrong, this is not a challenge lock, this is a puzzle. Like <laughs> anyway, Let's go on. I'll over and take these. Um, there we go. Pin and pin. Oops. Oh, but I get the springs out in a minute.
She is a deep bloody thing. Very fine. Ah, oh, there's springs are stuck up there. I'll worry about that. Oh, there's one here. That's alright. There's two more stuck up there, so. Anyway. Sure, what these pins are, they're very not very pronounced, that's for sure. It's, um, anyway, that's what's in there minus two springs, obviously. Um, yeah, it's a pin and pin, pin and pin, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's the way it came out. That one, anyway. So that's what's in there, and uh, yeah, and that, uh, like I said, it's a puzzle. It's more of a puzzle than the challenge lock. But that wasn't, uh, I did pick it before, um, when I first got it, and it did, it, trust me, it took me longer than what it took me before. I just learned something about it. Um, it has possible, three possible scenarios to open, well, only three possible scenarios to in deep false sets but only one um oh there we go found the spring and all the springs yeah but out of the three what i found only one would obviously get you open and yeah it's definitely it's a puzzle and it's a well made too but so yeah like i said it didn't took me longer than that before when i first tried it but i wasn't going to post that i was just post that so yeah um that'll do that'll do and i'll put that back together again and uh yeah pass it on to someone else but um yeah definitely definitely a very very good luck um and uh yeah uh actually back in the tech i've got some yells yeah, i've got some news on so hang on uh back in uh yeah talking about yells i've got this one from william mansell um see if i can shut her up anyway Yeah, I got the blank for it. It's the, uh, uh, come on, GYB6. Um, that's the blank for that so padlock that William gave me. So if you've got a Yao with that profile, um, that's the blank you want. The GYB6. So I'll do a video on that, my impression that down the track. When I've got motivation, time, interest. Um, yeah, uh, I've got things going on in my business at the moment, which uh, I mean, the process of I don't know if I want to give it a give the business away or not, but that's another story. Um, this one, uh, what I'll do with that, this one's this, one of those little push locks, um, and from memory, I think they're pretty much a flat key, uh, but with uh, the bidding, tumbler bidding. So, what I might do, I'm gonna this is an old. Uh, Flat key. I'm going to modify this for that so I can make a key. And uh, what am I going to do? Jammy, modify this, another one for that push lock as well. But these are little pro you know, projects on the way. So, anyway, that'll do. Um, Till next time, take care and uh, I'm out of here. Uh, goodbye.